Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to Banning, Panning and Beyond and another Mask Monday. So today I'm going to do um, a Korean beauty skincare mask that I picked up from my local supermarket recently. I thought it would, the packaging was really, really cute on this one. And after last week's mask, I actually, I've broken out uh, in a few different places and it's taking a while for it to heal so I was originally planning on doing like a pink clay um, mask but oh this is very interesting because it says it's a honeycomb foil texture so that is what it looks like so we're gonna oh okay it feels very strange okay so it's got a looks like all right so it's got a piece at the back that you pull off and this is to stay on for 10 to 15 minutes so we'll see how we go so I've got my new headband in Uh, that I bought as well recently. Mm. Doesn't have too much of a scent, certainly nothing bad. It's got plenty of serum on it. All right, and I did actually just like, won't waste the serum. Um, I did bring my jade roller. So now what I was planning on doing today was um as i've been doing recently just unboxing some more goodies because it's a good way for me to sort of uh get both done sort of multitasking this one feels a bit too big for my face so and i have my scissors handy just in case i have to cut that bit part off. So this says it's for radiant looking skin. So we shall see. All right. So I have mentioned in the past that I had a recent uh, shopping trip to Sephora and Mecca. Now I've already unboxed those. I did film that already. And uh, unfortunately at the time my son was in the room behind me and it made me extremely self-conscious of filming and um, <coughs> I uh, decided to not upload the video so I'll still show you guys obviously what I bought but it just won't be an unboxing as such so the one that I am unboxing for you right now is um, from Copacetic Cosmetics and this is an order that um, I added to twice um, and so it all came in the one box and uh, it had some pre-order items in it. So that's why it's taken so long um, to get to me. And um, the, the, the main item for that was the, uh, there was a palette called the Companion Palette um, that um, an, an Instagrammer I follow and I will um, put her um, account name up on the screen. Uh, she did a collab with Copacetic Cosmetics and um, oh my goodness, it's full of spaghetti or some of you call worms. So I'm just going to grab my bin out from under my vanity and try and pop these straight in there so that I uh, don't make too much of a mess to clean up afterwards. So I am crossing fingers that uh, this has made this made it unscathed uh, because uh, I just always get so nervous unboxing stuff. So that is the outside of the palette. And it is in perfect, perfect condition. So now this is actually uh, by name and nature, a companion palette. It's not meant to be a standalone palette. It is all shimmers. Um, so uh, yeah, it is meant to be used in with other things. So the um, lady that um, Monica Jones is the um, 
or oh, Monica Jones Tabor, I think it actually is her full name. Um, so it has actually has her handle down there, um, M Jones, uh, in the bottom, 5018. Um, so if anyone wants to check her out on Instagram, you can. Um, so yes, yeah, this is all um, based on the pets that she has had. Uh, it's got all the names of the dogs that she's had over the years um, on the back. And um, it's also um, dedicated to her sister who sadly passed away earlier um, this year. So, and I believe that her sister played a role in um, actually getting one of the dogs for Monica. Uh, she arranged it or something. So I don't know if it was a rescue dog or I don't know the full story, um, unfortunately. So yeah. Uh, very, very sad, but at least it was something really nice um, for Monica to happen to her this year. And I really wanted to support her in that. And unfortunately I missed out on the first release and um, yeah, and I managed to get it second time around. So, all right, get rid of all the rest of those. I will put those straight in the recycling later. Uh, okay, and then it's got for me to check off. Uh, thank you so much for your awesome order. We hope you love all of your goodies. That's from Maggie, the owner um, of Copacetic. Just picking up the last of the bits and pieces. Okay, so um, I'm relying on the timer um, on my phone uh, to, for, in regards to this mask. So, mm, definitely being a bit of a pain there. Um, so, I'm just going to, I was hoping I could show you a few other things, but the other looks of it, uh, it's going to probably take me all of this video just to get these uh, items out. So, I won't be swatching any of them because it just takes too long. So, and to get them all unpackaged first. So while I do that, I may as well tell you, the reason my son is no longer in the room behind me is because my eldest stepson has now moved out um, with his girlfriend. And um, yeah, so my son was living, uh, so he's been out of home for six years and he decided to move back home this year um, in order to help him save some um, more money towards a deposit on his own home. And uh, of course, both him and my daughter have moved out. So we have rearranged, um, obviously, and this is the room my daughter used to um, sleep in. Originally, it was set up as a guest room um, and we had my two youngest stepsons shared a, a, a room, um, which is a really, really big room. It fit uh, two double beds and a desk between them and some um, like hutches over the top of their beds, so it's a really long room and we ended up um, once my daughter um, No, my son moved out and one of my stepsons went into his room and uh, Then we moved my daughter up into this room and we moved my other stepson into my son's room So I'm sure you're not all keeping up with this, but basically the uh, room that both my stepsons um, shared got um, turned into a gym my home gym um, yeah, so when, um, and now I've got this room set up. So when my son um, moved home, we had nowhere really to put him. Um, my husband said this one's now been set up as my beauty room and I use it all the time. So it didn't make sense for me to give this room up. So yeah, the, we rearranged and put my son in the theater room. So he had a big TV, the TV cabinet in there and the theater lounge. And he managed to fit his bed and his um, big computer desk and everything in there. but. It's right off the main living area, so um, he asked if he could move in uh, to my stepson's room, which was originally my daughter's room. And um, so we've been doing that and rearranging the house uh, for the last two days. It's been a lot of work, so. Um, but he's all now set up in his room, um, and we've almost got our theatre room set back up. And... Um, yeah, now the, the gym room has kind of like our computer desk, what might sort of my work desk has been moved out of there and into our main living area. And um, yeah, my stepson's bed has now been set up um, basically in half the gym room again. 
um, just for the next 12 months until my son thinks he'll move back out. We did very expensive um, handmade, or sort of Australian made, I should say, um, timber furniture um, that the, the bedroom suites are, and we did not want to get rid of it. We wouldn't get an, enough money to make it worthwhile. Um, and um, yeah, we figured that once my son moves out, we will set all that furniture back up in there and have it as another um, guest room. Uh, who knows, maybe one day I'll have um, some grandchildren uh, that can um, stay in there. So yeah, it just it wasn't worth uh, getting rid of. So for the temporary inconvenience of <laughs> having half the gym room taken up instead of my work desk, um, we've now got a bed set back up in there. And uh, this is, <laughs> Uh, reminds me of uh, was it on SpongeBob with the little was it the SpongeBob? No, it was um not SpongeBob. It's um Futurama. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know the name of um him. Anyway, okay, so um this is a highlighter called Pumpkin Guts, I believe. It's the it's supposed to be Pumpkin Guts. All right, so that is that there. So that is what it looks like. No, I said I wasn't going to swatch everything. Famous last words all the time. Um, now, the next thing I want to show you, um, I need to put a, a warning up uh, for anyone who suffers from arachnophobia because this has a spider um, on it. So. If you do not like spiders, please look away. Um, I'm letting you know now, so I'm about to hold it up. So that is the outside of this quad. It's called the arachnid quad. Um, I don't like spiders, um, but obviously I don't actually have arachnophobia to the degree that uh, some people do. Oh no, and it is actually turned up broken. So I'm gonna try to hold hold it up they are very to be considered that one's is cracked and this one is also all cracked and shrunken so i'm gonna have to try to repress these and if i don't have um any luck with them then i will have to uh, contact um contact them and let them know and see if i can get a replacement um sent i'll insert a photo because i just don't want to hold up um properly and like because I don't want it to fall out. Um, I have the same trouble with some of my super shock um, shadows so um, so yeah sorry I forgot to say once I opened it up I'll, <laughs> I'll hold it up again so anyone who is uh, scared of spiders um, you can look now because I've opened the palette up so that is it there so you can see on the mirror um, where it's Sort of bit, yeah. I wonder if I can get in close. You can see that that's shrunken away, and that one is, yeah, it's not showing it. So I will take a photo um, and show you guys. Okay, so um, I'm just going to get into the singles, but I think by the time I get through these, it'll definitely be my time up to uh, wrap up this video, and um, I won't get to show you anything else. Um, I really just want to get all these hauls shown to you guys um, and um, get everything packed away and start using them. I know it's silly, but I don't like to uh, use things until I've actually shown um, everyone. So uh, now this is called Telepathy. So that is um, a beautiful shade. Um, not even sure it's a pressed eyeshadow so <clears throat> but sometimes they can be glitters and they don't necessarily say <clears throat> so the next one i can see why people uh, pre-open things because it takes so much time to swatch everything so that one's called slime The next one is called Sour. Oh, it's weird. It's actually 
obviously like it leaked onto the package but uh, yeah so that's it there maybe i just hold these up i won't um, unpack them and i'll unpack them later this one is called heat advisory so it's good where the, the windows are so you can see them royal it's beautiful purple because i'm so into purples right now uh, this one is called cotton candy so you can see all the different colors in there the pink and the purple and the blue and then we have amethyst uh, purple so unfortunately with the reflection on the packaging you won't see them quite to their true color uh, that one is called lemon of course the obligatory uh, orange shadow and this is called tower of terror as uh, they actually have like a two dollar tuesday um and they did one for Halloween and Tower of Terror was one of them and Halloween Town was another one. And unfortunately, um, I that looks beautiful. Um, I missed out um, on the $2 Tuesday, but they got restocked and I picked them up. So Twitches was another one, the orange, and that was one of their holiday um, Halloween ones as well as this one, Hocus Pocus. There was another one, I can't remember what color it was but I didn't get it uh, citrus twist and then we have this one is called orange creamsicle wild raspberry and the last but not least is called pineapple anise so that's gorgeous as well so um, yes, yeah, so that is everything. Uh, it's now 17 um, minutes gone. So I can take this mask off any time after 10 minutes. Um, so I will just take the time to quickly let you know that um, I am starting my new job um, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night I have orientation uh, just for three hours. And... Um, yeah, I have been busy wrapping Christmas presents as well. Um, haven't finished all my Christmas shopping yet, but um, yeah, the uh, so that stayed on quite well considering it was just this bit that gave me trouble today. Um, yeah, so tomorrow night our Christmas tree goes up, so um, I will be helping the kids do that when I get home from from work. Uh, sounds strange to say uh, and I'm still working from home as well for our, our own business which I do the bookkeeping um, for and um, yeah so busy busy um, busy so I can't really tell you much about my job at this stage other than the fact that um, it's uh, I think mentioned before it was it's at a local supermarket um, and they've employed me to work in the delicatessen so or just the deli uh, and it's going to be very strange because I don't think that I've mentioned before um, that for the last five years prior to Tisha getting um, sick and me leaving work, I um, I was running, <coughs> um, my brother owned two subways, um, which I was a shareholder um, in and I managed both those stores. So, uh, and I did everything there from serving customers, baking bread, preparing food, washing up, scrubbing floors, uh, toilets, you know, uh, stock control, um, all sorts of things, um, their uh, weekly inventory. <coughs> and um, yeah, it was pretty full on for five years managing and uh, copying phone calls left, right and centre all hours of the day and night. Uh, and I was, it was very stressful, very full on. Um, and uh, yeah, and it kind of feels like <laughs> this will be a lesser form of working um, in subways and my after I left um, my son my my brother had problems uh, some family health issues as well and he ended up selling those stores and to be honest even if he still owned them um, I know he would take me um, back in a second um, but I am happy to have the change in my life uh, so it's quite ironic that when I got employed I got employed to work um, in a deli um, so I'll be back handling uh, deli meats and cheeses and condiments and you name it. So 
obviously there's going to be a lot more to the job than just that but until I actually do the job I really can't uh, tell you much uh, it's on a casual basis so I have no idea how many hours I'm going to be um, getting per week and uh, leading up to Christmas I'm expecting it's going to be full-on uh, getting trained up and just uh, getting in there because the supermarket's going to be super busy between now and then um, I don't know how I'm going to handle it because I've been in retirement mode for the last 18 months uh, so definitely uh, it's going to get me back up on my feet and moving again because I've been really struggling with weight gain um, since I left work and I have tried really really hard with my exercise and um, just eating better and it never lasts um, because it just doesn't come naturally to me so hopefully being up on my feet will definitely um, help me a bit more so uh, so that's it guys it is now well past 20 um, minutes so I am going to get going and uh, yeah and, and I'll have to do another video again soon um, to try and show you uh, the rest of the stuff that I got although I did mention the very next video I was going to record I I have told a few um, people who commented on my um, video with my sister did the mosaic that um, I would show the um, mosaic that I did. So um, when I was up visiting my sister, I decided to have a go. I never would have done this um, if I was on my own. Obviously, my sister has all the tools that you need, all the equipment, um, the glue, uh, the grout for setting it and everything. So I actually designed this and I will um, put a picture up of the design flat on a table. It took ages just to get the design right, just working in with the different um, sized um, pieces uh, to make it all work. And um, yeah, this is just an old um, clear glass candle jar that I decided to recycle. So I just did the front bit and um, it's all, all around the top and bottom. But this back bit my sister did um because she had to use the grinder which i wasn't confident doing just to try and get all the and she had to cut all the pieces um to fit so she did this um back bit i didn't want to wrap the pattern right um right the way around it was really hard she said i picked a, a difficult surface being curved um, rather than a, a flat piece for my first thing because obviously it took ages as you're gluing the pieces on especially these bits here are quite heavy um so it i had to really let them sort of like the glue dry down and grab before I could um, move on to the next piece. And a few times I sort of turned it to keep going um, a bit too soon and they'd start to slide. So I'd have to move it back into place and that, yeah. So it was quite time consuming. Um, and then my sister did um, the grouting for me because unfortunately um, with everything else we had going on while I was up there, um, it takes like, you know, you've got to wait for the glue to dry full 24 hours before you do the grout. And um, obviously we weren't just sitting at her place the whole time I was there. Um, we went shopping <laughs> uh, to Mecca and Sephora. She got a massage um, while I took off and did some makeup shopping. And um, yeah, so I'm so pleased with how my first um, go turned out. M maybe one day next visit, I might try to mosaic something else, but try to do it from start to finish. So I was just happy to, rather than just say, hey, can you just make this for me um, that I could um, actually participate and uh, feel a bit of pride in the fact that um i played a role in it and um yeah so uh that that's my um mosaic candle jar brush holder so okay so it's now definitely time for me to go guys um thank you for joining me and um i'll hopefully see you all again soon bye